Can we pick that hot dog up? We might just eat the hot dog. We got a full tummy. How are we doing for distance? What's up guys, welcome back to Arsenic Candy Gaming and welcome back to Zero Sievert. So we have a mission, we have a several missions. So we have a valuable item to retrieve, a couple of fire crystals, um, just a few more materials. So we need a drill and two screw nuts. So I think maybe going back down to the sawmill would be a great idea. Um, there's a lot of industrial areas in there. So we should be able to pick up those items and a whole bunch of pelts. Uh, let's have a look at our inventory. We're low on ammo, so we might have to go and buy some. I don't recall if we've stored any back in base. Let's have a quick look if we've got any. We want 9 by 18 mil, don't we? Um, oh, is that the correct ammo? It looks like it. But it is different. It is different. Hmm. We'll risk it. Uh, that doesn't fit in our rifle. So we need to purchase some, realistically. We can't risk going out there without a full quota of ammunition. So we'll grab some of that. And we'll grab a bunch of that. Not cheap. Not cheap by any means. But there you go. Needs to happen. So we've got 75... Um, for our uh, sidearm and plenty for our primary weapon. So, no risk taking now. We're going to heme straight out there. Um, go straight to the sawmill, regardless of where it is in, con in comparison to our um, ingress. Grab the items that we need um, and then, and then we will... Uh, we will exit. We will not dilly-dally. We will not muck about. We'll get in and get out. That is it. That's the plan. Zero deviation. Watch the deviation come any moment now. I'm gonna die! And here we go. Rain. Rain's going to be noisy, a pain in the arse. So we're uh, going to have to remember to drop the background noise a little bit whilst we're on, on this mission. Okay, sawmill's straight above us. So hopefully ingress shouldn't be too difficult. I would like to not get wedged between the sawmill and the town because I don't really want to get... I don't want the opportunity for enemies to come up my rear. I don't know why I decided to take on this boar. That was probably a real dumb idea. But hey, hey. We don't actually need the pelts, do we? Just to take them out. Am I mistaken? No, it is the pelts. Couple of tusks. We don't need the meat. We do need the pelts, they so. say. We're not going to do that again if we see any more boar at this this point. We'll, uh, we'll let them survive another day. Hopefully we don't end up retreating back into their territory. Zero hits on us from him. have to sneaky peek around this corner and grab him. Oh. That was very lucky. Oh, there's a lad over there as well. We better take out before he comes. Hopefully his mates aren't going to follow him out. Come on, mate. Poke your face. Poke your face around. Another one dead. 
might have to uh, just finish them off to make sure that we've got no possibility of being caught out. That's all of them. Okay. I did the opposite of what I said I was going to do. So we've uh, we've now strayed off the beaten track. But hey, hey. They immediately deviate from the plan. Ilya Diakov. Ah. See, I needed the cola though, so screw all of you. A little bit of meds wouldn't go miss. Some radiation tablets. Ooh, some attachments. We don't have any of the required weapons, to my knowledge. That won't go on anything we've got. That won't go on anything we've got. Will that go on our... No, it won't go on our little spider. Nope. We can sell them, though, so that's a bonus. Now, some screw ends would be good. One. We needed two. Shame. But we're still... We're still close. We're still close. A little scan over here. Oh, he very nearly returned fire on me then, but we got him too quickly. We knew we need forks for uh, for fixing up our kitchen, so we're going to grab that and a spoon. Let's hit the reload for a moment. We'll double check this building. I don't think we've checked any of these. Chat there uh, wandered a little bit too far out into the wild. I'm going to get too bogged down with unnecessary junk at this point. Constantin Shulga. Give me a lighter. Give me your, your bullets. I might take that pistol because it's not too hefty. We can ditch it if need be. Um, but that's easy to sell or scrap if we want it. There's the drill that we're looking for. Two drills. We won't take two. We only need one. I'm hoping some screw ends in here. Maybe loot the bodies and then chip off rather than uh, sticking around too long and risking imminent death. It does seem like a coward's exit, but we have a plan in mind. I don't think it's wrong of us to try and stick to it, so... I won't be made to feel guilty about it. Thanks very much. We'll take the bandages. We'll take the knife. Any more hostiles in the area? We did still need the screw ends, if I'm not mistaken. So, there we go. We've got our screw ends. Get rid of the pipes. I think that's all of the materials we needed for the train driver. We're not going to go into the sawmill actual, as we've already got all the stuff we needed. The medication box, though. Dip the, dip the uh, junk medication and just take the... In Essential stuff. So empty syringe is not for me. Is there an exit above us? No. I think we'll return to the south and uh, exit that way. It would have been nice to have risked gone in it, going into the sawmill, but um, I think considering that we've uh, completed our mission, probably best just just to live to fight another day. Still very cautious that we could run into the boar that we're down here. And there's every chance we might stumble across some uh, some additional bandits, but these are the risks we've got to take, eh? I see nothing. Now, 
having said no uh, no more risks i probably would still ro wander into a radiated area to grab a couple of fire crystals which is arguably one of the more risky things we could do oh and i bet we're gonna get a nice clean angle there we're nearly at the exit so uh we'll have a quick look if we can't take this dude out I mean, I should just go, really. Should just go. We good? Looks like we're in the clear here. Bandit Seaman Rosanov. Excellent. <laughs> A little bit of Bandit Seaman there. We'll take the other pistol and we'll stroll out with it. In fact, if we can get away with it, we might take this gun as well. Is that going to put us over? I don't know why I'm doing this. Just go. Apparently, I can't just go. There was a, a stash down there, which we might check as well. As long as we're not too hefty, we should be able to make it out in one piece. How are we looking? Bit of paint, tea bags, some more ammo. I don't want the the, uh, the weapon trash. That is it, a full inventory. And he's away. In and out, 10 minutes. Lovely, no complaints. Let's dump this mission off here. Let's give him the materials immediately. Um, I think we'll take a whole bunch of uh, ammo for our little pistol. Because we're going to... Why won't you let me do that? Let's drop that on the floor. Then give you the... There we go. And now we should have space again, right? If I'm not mistaken. Thanks very much. There's plenty of room. Don't talk rubbish to me. Got any other tasks? No, we're good. Let's clear out. We'll see how much these pistols are worth if we're to sell them. Ooh. Fair wadge of cash there. I think we'll take that. Probably not worth trying to repair the EC-74U at this point. Uh, we'll sell some of this other junk that's currently here present. We might need the lighters, actually. Tusks can definitely go. Matches, soap, cigarettes, rubles. What's this ammo? 5728, don't need that. 9 by 19 don't need that at the moment. These are standard stocks, so there's probably no point keeping hold of them. Pistol grips and the magazines. That magazine can go. I'm away. What time of day is it? We probably haven't got enough time for another run out, so uh, let's dump off some of the stuff in our essential stash. See what we're looking like for our uh, kitchen upgrade. What else do we need? We need two more pots, a whole bunch of knives, forks, and spoons, um, and a lot more of the uh, scrap materials, screw nuts, etc. Okay, good plan. We can go out and get those. We still do still need a whole bunch of pelts, strange crystals, etc. Um, what can we get rid of? So food items, we'll throw in there. Ammunition, please. Put the uh, gun parts in here as well. Organize that. I think that these could go in here for later missions that we know that we need them for. 
ammunition in there some of our medical supplies we don't need on us so we're going to leave that there Ooh, yeah get rid of two of those we're good to go is it too late in the day to go out Ooh. gun inspect nice it is seven o'clock at night maybe it's a good idea to um to have a bit of a nap and then it will still be quite quite early won't it ah we can go for a, a slightly bigger backpack now if we if we wish or we can go and look at what the military have got for us they could have a uh, significantly weight increased backpack i hope so anyway i will not make mess don't worry you have you got a decent sized backpack for me the military standard backpack is nearly 20 kilos slightly increased movement speed reduced ergonomics i think that we uh you know we deserve an enormous backpack at this point so we're going to take it and we're going to sell the school bag so yeah we're going to suffer a little bit on our aiming reticule not returning to the center quite so quickly but that massive increase in uh, carrying capacity there will be able to lug back huge great big guns with us. Don't need anything from you. Should we take a quick nap? I think we should probably sleep till morning. A solid 10 hour sleep. Wait until it... Yeah, that'll do. We are going to be very hungry and thirsty when we wake up as a result, but that's okay. We can uh, we can mitigate that with food and drink that we have stashed away. The bonus of having a giant backpack is the um, the weight reduction that we suffer from uh, from tiredness doesn't impact us quite so hard. We haven't looked at the food system here, so um, we have the opportunity to craft some foods. We can craft some bread out of moldy breads we can combine them i don't really know how that works irl but there you go um if we have a selection of meats and breads we can also combine those to make a meat sandwich same can be said about cheese oh that's just a butter sandwich sandwich with butter i thought it was cheese sandwich with salam so uh let's make a salami sandwich a butter sandwich maybe maybe two butter sandwiches and a meat oh we don't have enough meat that's why we don't have enough bread. We can also combine two rotten water to make a fresh water. Let's pop away what we don't need at this time. Uh, we'll keep one. Of, we'll keep the two sandwiches on us. In fact, we can probably consume a huge amount of them. How are we doing? That should put us pretty close to being full. We do need a lot of water, though. Hopefully, he, uh, the um, the vendor should have some more beverages now. We'll take that one. If he's got any um, fresh water, we'll take it. We'll put that one back. We'll combine the two waters. What about the milk? That's too expensive. some fresh water on us pull that one back now let's take our giant backpack out in the world what have we got to get some more pelts and some fire crystals fire crystals oh, have we got enough for the first level of radiation suit because that would probably be quite beneficial for us so what armor could do with being repaired Radiation suit. 23,000. No, we do not, is the answer. So, that's our mission. Get some money for our uh, radiation suit.
once we've got a radiation suit, we can s consider going to explore some of the other areas as well, which is a bonus. I'm glad we didn't go out at night. Night would have been uh, far too difficult to manage at this point. We don't have a head torch and definitely don't have any net MVGs. So we want pelts and fire crystals. So realistically, we want to try and avoid the two town areas. So I think we'll come down to the left over here, move our way up to Igor's hut. Um, and if we haven't found what we're looking for by then, we can maybe come up underneath the sawmill and back around to the southeast. It could take us quite a while to explore that area, but um, hey, we've got nothing else to do, right? Oh, it is quite radiated over here. Might need to consider dropping a radiation tablet in a minute so we don't um, suffer too many ill consequences of our radiation poisoning. Let's get our pistol out just in case. Should we loop around the building just to make sure that there's no chance of getting surprised? We do need more of this these scrap metals that we're picking up because... Um, we really need to concentrate on fixing up our kitchen. That might be reason enough to venture into the town area. Um, I don't know for certain, but I imagine that there's, you know, the little huts there might have kitchen supplies. We do have a medical respec point, which we should probably use up. Medicine level two, nice. Some cutlery, which is ideal. What have we got in here? Toolbox. Bunch of junk. Useful junk. I know we got lots of space, but maybe carrying a car tire around with us. Not even a tire. A whole ass wheel. Imhotep. The invisible Imhotep. Oh, shit. Oh, we need to put a rock between us and him. No ammo? How's that possible? I thought we bought ammo. No, we did not. We used it all. Okay. We're going to have to trade out one of our weapons here, aren't we? So... Actually, let's... um. Let's load up with weapons just in case we run out of loot for anything. Run away. My Christ. Didn't need this. Okay, we're going to ditch this gun any second. It seems to be like a shit get away. Get away. Need a full heal here. Okay, we stumbled into the wrong area, I think. Um That gun um certainly heems the fucking bullets out, doesn't it? Christ. And Christ for that. Hopefully this lad's got plenty of ammo on him because I don't think we can... Uh... Survive without picking up a bit more of our 7.62, I think it is, right? Okay, we're good to go. Good. There was a radiated area there that we couldn't see properly. I'm going to start bleeding in a second. So we need to pop a radiation tablet. These are the environmental hazards we didn't want to be wandering on top of. We're really uh, sh 
shit the bed a bit on it. Ourselves in an awful position. He's got a very nice rifle. My goodness. What the hell have we stumbled into here? Okay, let's get rid of these. Um, going to consider picking up one of the uh, sniper rifles that are over there because that is meaty. I don't. I'm not too fast about shotgun stuff at the moment. Let's clear this area out before we do anything else. All clear? All clear. Wow, it's quite um quite a lot of loot going on over here. Standard pistol grip. I'll take these. These are useful. Some tools. I think we'll probably ditch that wheel any moment now. Because it's weighing us down significantly. Some meds. Some more radiation tablets wouldn't go amiss. Um, let's take some milk. That should fix some of our, not only our thirst and our hunger, but also a bit of our radiation. And we'll probably scoff a sandwich as well when we get any opportunity. Do we have any sandwiches on us? I'm sure we brought some food with us, didn't we? No, because we're an idiot. An SSD drive. If we could have some food in here, I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, no such luck. Thankfully, we picked up that increased uh, capacity because we are carrying a lot of gear right now. Are you looted? Dennis Berezine. FM Leovamod. What have you got on you? An MKM. Right. I don't know how much use it is to us realistically, but I think I'd like to take it anyway. Pop it down there at the bottom. Got room for you? Room for you still? Hmm. Two kilograms, four kilograms. That's going to be worth loads of money, I imagine. Keep hold of it for now. There was another guy with a sniper, wasn't there? Where's he? Is he over here? Unless it was this chap here with this rifle. Uh, we might have to uh, take our leave at that point. We've got loads of... Ah, oh, there it is. Denny's. I think we'll get rid of the MGM. I think we've got too much stuff to risk um, carrying on the mission. We've got a lot of weapons to take out of here. If nothing else, we've got a lot of um, attachments to salvage. So, as long as we can dodge the radiation poisoning on the way out, we'll consider that a victory. Ah, nice and easy. Easy money. So, the guns are going to be relatively low in wear, but they'll sell pretty highly. On that note, I've been Arsenic Candy Gaming. You've been bloody marvellous as always. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, Yeah, we didn't achieve the mission that we set out to do. Um, I guess we brought back some of the, uh, the items for repairing our kitchen, but other than that, um, just a whole heap of money. Uh, from that increased carrying capacity. So, well worth it. I'll catch you on the next episode. You take care. And goodbye.